This is Trailblazers Leagues, a temporary game mode where we complete tasks to unlock new areas, gain points to unlock powerful game-altering relics, all for the ultimate end goal of Dragon Cup. This is my journey. Alright, I wasn't planning on recording this, I was just doing a Toa right before bed. Got myself 21 minute EB. Um, I was absolutely zooming this entire raid, even like the non room time was super quick, 24. But that is my last drop from Tombs of Amastit. And I am done. I have full Masori. There is the Masori chaps. It took a total of 22 purples to complete Tombs of Amascus, which I think is pretty sweet. A um, little bit lucky. I think the average to finish is closer to 30. Anyway. Uh, time to leave the Tombs of Amascus potentially for the last time. And now I can equip the Masori Chaps to have a full set of Masori Fortified. I can put the ZCB on there, looking dapper. Basically, all I need is the Tebow, and then I have best in slot range. 4,000 more points obtained, and it's time to start dumping it into Prayer. Unfortunately, with Prayer, you get less experience. Makes sense. Prayer is a highly desirable skill to train, and they don't want this to be too good uh, for Prayer on the main game, so therefore Prayer is less experience. Um, but 4,000 points should get us pretty close, um, but definitely not the end. I think the total that I need is 7,000. So I think the total that I need is somewhere around 7,000. Uh, total void points uh, to get all the way up to 50 mil. Looks like I need another 3,200, 3,100 points and I'll be done, which is like 40, 50 pass control games. So maybe two more hours uh, to knock that out. 3,264 void night commendations and I think I am done. And 50 million prayer experience. Also picked up 35 million there for 400 league points. And I think I'm done with Pez Control. Got 50 million prayer, 50 million attack. The other three combat skills, magic, defense, and strength. I'm slowly leveling them up to 50 with combat. And then at the end of the league, I can spend some leftover points to clean that up to 50 mil each. But I think I'll get there without having to come back to Pez Control. At the end of my adventure at Pez Control, I'm up to 95 thousand headless arrows um which hopefully is enough to get me up to 50 mil fletching i am going to be prioritizing like doing my logs first before making the arrows just because these are very much this is much quicker xp per hour but arrows are way more dense in terms of bank experience and i think i'll get three to four thousand more magic logs by the time i'm done with all the pvm grinds we are back at the Whisper, trying to get some tasks done here. I need to get up to 300 kill count, and hopefully I can pick up Virtus along the way. It just had an insane kill where I only had one special attack and picked up a 1-0 kill. Said it a lot, but I don't think I'm beating that PR. There's no way. I'm 68 kills, and I have two Bellator Vestiges. That means I've hit that table six times in 68 kills. I don't have anything else. Holy shit, I got another pet! I got the Wisp! That's huge, I didn't... I was like, oh! I got two collecting logs on the same kill. That's crazy. That is a, another pet obtained, another pet to the collection log, and my fourth pet on Leagues. There is, there's no way. I'm at, I'm at nine hits on it? Nine hits and 99 kills? What the hell? <laughs> There is the Siren Staff, picked it up on kill count 101. Still got another 199 kills here. I'm now two out of four on Axe Pieces, and I'm hoping that by the time I get through this and get all the way to the 300 Whisper Kills, that I have either the Axe complete with two more pieces, or I've picked up the Virtus Rogue Legs and have Virtus complete. It continues. That is the fourth fourth Bellator Vestige means my rolls are at 12. It's, it's just crazy. I I, uh, I did not expect this. And like every time it's a Bellator Vestige, it could have been something else. There is 150 Whisper kills. Speak of the Devil, the very next kill, I got the Leviathan's Lure, which means I'm three out of four 
on the axe pieces and any one last kill could get me the soul reapers axe in fact the drop rate's one in a hundred here uh, so i should get it by the time i hit 300 whisper there is the executioner's axe head that is all four pieces of the leviathan's axe and once this trip is done i'll be able to make the executioner's axe i think to make the executioner's axe i just uh use them on each other and look it requires 2000 blood runes would have never known that uh, but we create the soul reaper axe giving us 6400 magic experience we get to wield the soul reaper's axe which is a really cool item there's also an elite task to equip that you can see here there is no special attack basically how it works is every time i attack i lose eight health and i gain a stack and every stack i have is an extra eight percent damage and accuracy so I think this may be worthwhile using at Ulm on the melee hand um, because I'll be able to build up the stacks, keep them up high, and my Soul Stealer will get back the HP that I'm losing by using the axe. And then when I'm ready to be done, I can just use the spec to clear it out. But showing it off, when I attack a cow, I take 8 damage, gain 1 stack here, 5 stack, and now I can use the special attack. And it's going to give me back all the HP and clear up the stacks for a very big hit. Just had the most insane 44 second kill. Um, just procking ruby after ruby after ruby after ruby. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely not beating that. There's no way I beat that the rest of my kills up to 300. I did lose a lot of clips along the way. Um, so I guess I'll just update you on exactly where we are here. I've gotten myself up to five Virtus Robe Tops and five Bellator Vestiges. Got the pet. Uh, I, I do have the full axe and have 19 Awakeners Orbs. So all we really need is the Virtus Robe Bottom. I'm hoping I get it in the next 27 kills. But if I don't, I'll probably go back to the Leviathan at some point. Try to knock that out and get the 400 points for equipping full Virtus. There is 300 Whisper Kills. I've defeated her 300 times, picking up the Elite Task. This did take a long time. I think I capped out at like 32, 33 kills per hour, but over the bulk of it, I think it was like 10 to 11 hours of killing the boss. Picked up a lot of uniques, got the axe done, um, a lot of good stuff. But while I do have Whisper on the brain, I do want to try to kill the Awakened version as killing each of the Awakened bosses counts for an elite task. And I have access to Awaken Vardorvis, Awaken Whisper, and Awaken Leviathan. I think Awaken Leviathan is going to be the easiest because I have the axe to skip the really hard part of the fight. The Whisper is going to be tough but doable. And then I think Vardorvis is going to be extremely difficult with my build just because um, it's a range build and I have like two Vardorvis kills on the main game. And Duke is the last one, which I don't even have access to. Oh, that was stressful. We made it through. We killed the Awakened Leviathan or the Awakened Whisper. I got the elite task done. Unfortunately, Blood Torva isn't obtainable in this league. But man, that feels good to get done. And I still have like 10 orbs left for the Leviathan. With Awakened Whisper done, it's time to go back to some skilling. And I want to complete off the Pyramid Plunder tasks. I need to loot the chest in the 8th room of Pyramid Plunder a total of 150 times. And if I look at the task list, I've already done it 25 times. I think I've actually done slightly more than 25 because I stayed for 99. But that means I have another 125 to go. And I don't know how long this is going to take, but it's going to take quite a while. Alongside this, I'm also going to try to get up to 50 mil thieving with this. Um, and that means I'm going to be looting the chests in the final room. So it took me about two and a half minutes to get through to the final room. Meaning if I were to not be looting these urns... I would be able to get about 25 an hour. But I am going to be looting these errands because it's going to be what's going to get me all the way up to 50 mil thieving. Um, as I have about 120 runs, and if I get 200k experience a run, uh, that'll get me very close to 50 mil. So because I have the Elite Diary, when I charge the Scepter, it goes up to 100 charges. When I use up the 100 charges, I know I'll be at like 130, 125, somewhere in that range, uh, giving me a good barometer of when it's going to be over, assuming I'm smart enough to uh, not click on the middle. 
Bro, four runs, I've been averaging about 225k experience in thieving per run. So that means that by the time I do these 125 runs, I should gain about 25 million, 28 million experience, which will put me around like 42, 43 mil. Um, so I'll be very close to that 50 mil, but I'll have to figure out exactly what I'll want to do for that final 7 mil. Pharaoh's Scepter number three. Add it to the inventory. I wonder how big this will get by the time I'm done here. There is 75 chests, halfway done. All right, triple purple. Got myself one here. Let's see what's going to happen. I had 49k points, so that's pretty good. And I got myself another Ancestral Robe Top. Let's see what they got. They got... Oh, he got another Arcane. He can't even use that. A Din's Bulwark. There is 35 million thieving experience. Let's check my teleport to see how many are left on this Pharaoh Scepter. I have 12 left, and I think if my math is correct, I'd, I have to do 17 more once the Scepter runs out. Assuming I haven't messed up one of the teleports. So that means 29 more runs, and I, I probably get somewhere in the order of 12 to 15 an hour. Like, if the timer goes to zero every time, it's 12. But if the timer goes to a minute, which it looks like this one will be about a minute because I have five earns left, um, then it's 15 an hour. So I think it's somewhere between there. So I got about two and a half hours, maybe up to three hours left here. Almost missed this, but one billion total experience gained on the League's account. I don't think I'm going to hit 2 billion, so that is the only billion milestone I'm going to get. I'm happy to get it. Room 8 of Pyramid Plunder 150 times. Wow, today was a long day, but I am done with thieving for now. Currently up to 41.8 million experience, um, so I need about another 8 million to go. If I were to do it here, it would probably be another 2.5 hours. And I could see myself doing that near the end of the league for the points. 200 points in two and a half hours is probably good at this stage. Um, but I am now above 67,000. I got this tip from a mission of the solo variety, but essentially, normally, uh, Giants Foundry, you play the minigame properly, you get a lot of experience. But because I have access to better smithing training methods, I can actually kind of cheese this minigame to get all the tasks done here. I still need to get to 50 and 100 handins, and normally I would do Addy and Rune Swords, which would get me about like 300k experience per sword. I have about 60 more swords to go. I'd get 18 million experience, get very close to the 35 mil tasks, but that takes like seven hours. Instead, I can do gold bars, which I tested for a little bit here, and I was getting about 10 million experience per hour. It would be higher if I had banknote, but unfortunately I'm a fire sailor. But one thing you do want to do is you want to make sure you actually pick like the worst molds and not the best molds. Uh, because if you pick the worst molds, this process will go quicker. But then once it goes to zero, you can hand it in. It counts, and that one took a minute. So for this one, I went ahead and picked molds that were, like, bad. You can see the bar is much smaller now, and it's going to take a couple seconds to knock down, hand it in. Arrow heavy, and now when I come in here, I just look for things that aren't highlighted in green, and click on them. This is pretty click-intensive and boring, uh, but hey, it's quick points per hour. That's kind of the name of leagues at this point. But that's 50 hand-ins. The current timer down there is 5.11. Let's see how long it takes to get up to 100 swords. About 25 minutes, maybe 26 minutes for those final 50 swords. Um, but this is going to be another 80 points from Mr. Kovac over here. Um, definitely worth doing it this way. I'm still happy I got 99 um, with actual swords. Because now I have the max cape and the smithing cape. And that means I can do... Uh, gold or for the remaining experience all the way up to 50 million that's something we're going to do in the future but at 849 tasks complete i think that's a nice way to end the video bye